Welcome to Excel Practice 3. Start Excel, click Open, then browse to where your starter files are located. Open the starter file, Starter, Excel, Practice 3. With the file open, select File, Save As, Browse, and then navigate to your Excel folder on your flash drive or other location where you save your files. Name the workbook as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore Excel, underscore practice, underscore three. We will use flash fill to separate the date in column D. In cell E4, type department and then press tab. In cell F4, type division and then press enter. These are our column labels for the flash fill. In cell E5, type 150 and press Enter. With cell E6 as the active cell, go to the Home tab, Editing Group, choose the arrow next to Fill, and choose Flash Fill. Notice how the contents from column D are automatically filled to column E, and only the department was filled. With cell F5 as the active cell, type 80 and press Enter. With cell F6 selected, press the shortcut key for Flash Fill, Control, plus E. Notice how the two-digit division code was filled for column F. Delete column D. Autofit columns B through E. If necessary, deselect wrap text before auto-fitting. Merge and center cell A1 across the range A1 through F1, then apply the heading 1 cell style. Merge and center cell A2 across the range A2 through F2, then apply the heading 2 style. Select cell B26 on the Formulas tab in the Function Library group Choose Insert Function and search for the SUM function. Select Go and then select OK. Apply the SUM function to the range A5 through A24. Before searching for the SUM function in the search box, you may need to clear out any existing text. Click cell B27 and using the same method as above, apply the average function to the range C5 through C24. Click in cell B28 and using the same method, apply the median function to the range C5 through C24. Click in cell B29 and using the same method, apply the min function to the range C5 through C24. Click cell B30 and using the same method, apply the max function to the range C5 through C24. Select the range B27 through B30 and apply the accounting number format with no decimal places. Select column C and set the width to 50 pixels. Hashtag hashtag symbols should display in some of the cells in column C. This means that the column is not wide enough to display the underlying value. Select columns B through C and auto-fit the columns. Notice how the two hashtags go away and the underlying value displays. Select the range A4 through F4 and apply the 40% Accent 1 themed cell style and center the text. Select cell A26, change the font size to 14, apply bold and italic, and select the Accent 1 cell style under the themed cell styles. Align right the text. Select the range A27 through A30, and on the Home tab, Cells group, choose the arrow next to Format and launch the Format Cells dialog box at the bottom of the list. On the Font tab, choose 12 for the size and Blue Accent 1 for the color. On the Fill tab, choose the second light blue color. Any light blue color will work. 
select OK to exit out of the dialog box. In cell A31, type how many tablet colors? Question mark. In cell B31, we will write a formula to count the item names if it contains the word tablet. This will tell us how many different tablet colors we have. We will use the count if function to do this. With cell B31 active, go to the formulas tab in the function library, choose insert function. Search for count if, select it, and then select go. In the function arguments dialog box, in the range box, select the range B5 through B24. This range represents the item names. You can type in the range or move the dialog box to the side and select it. In the criteria box, type the word tablet asterisk, then click OK. This is important to include the asterisk after the word tablet. The asterisk represents a wildcard. In cell F4, type request more question mark and then auto fit the cell width. In cell F5, we will write an if statement to determine if we need to request additional items because the stock is running low. If there are less than 10 items on hand, we need to request more. With cell F5 active, go to the formulas tab in the function library, choose insert function. Search for if, select it, and then choose go. In the function arguments dialog box, next to logical test, enter a5 less than 10. Next to value underscore if underscore true, enter yes. Next to value underscore if underscore false, enter no. Select OK to exit out of the dialog box. In cell F5, you should see the word no display. This is because there are 10 blue tablets on hand, so we do not need to request more. With cell F5 still active, use the fill handle to copy the if statement to cell F24. Select the range F5 through F24. On the Home tab, in the Styles group, choose the arrow next to Conditional Formatting and apply the Highlight Cell Rules using text that contains the word Yes. Choose the default formatting with red light fill with dark red text. Select the range A5 through A24 on the Home tab in the Styles group. Choose the arrow next to Conditional Formatting and apply data bars using a red gradient fill data bar. Make cell A2 the active cell by typing A2 in the name box. On the Home tab in the Editing group, Choose the arrow next to Clear and choose Clear Contents. This will clear any data in the cell, but keep the format. In cell A2, insert the Now function. In the formula bar, type equals now parentheses. Select the range A4 through F24. On the Insert tab, Tables group, choose Table. Check the box that says My Table Has Headers and then click OK. On the Table Tools Design tab, choose Quick Styles. Select the third Quick Style in the first row, Table Style Light 2. Sort the retail price from smallest to largest. Click the arrow next to Price in cell C4 and choose Sort Smallest to Largest. Select the range C5 through C24. Format as currency with the zero decimal places and auto fit the cell contents. Choose the arrow next to department and filter the department so only 150 shows. Add a total row to the table. On the table tools design tab, choose the checkbox next to total. Notice that since the department field is still filtered, there are 16 records with a department of 150. Remove the filter on department by clicking the arrow next to the word department 
and choosing Select All. Notice how the total now shows 20. Click cell C25. Click the arrow that displays to the right and select Sum. Notice how this adds together the price column to display a grand total. Apply the integral theme and change the colors to Marquee. On the Page Layout tab, in the Page Setup group, change the orientation to Landscape and center on the page horizontally. Select the range A25 through F25. Apply the Heading 4 style and apply Center Alignment. Press Ctrl plus F2 to display Print Preview. In Backstage View, show the advanced properties, add the following. Run Spelling and Grammar Check. Compare your file to the image and make all necessary corrections. Submit as instructed by your instructor. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.